Hey there, do you like to braise as much as I do? Well, today we're going to do one of my favorite recipes. It's going to be duck with green olives. We're going to start off by reviewing some of the ingredients for this recipe. It's pretty simple. We've got our duck legs and we're going to add a little bit of mirepoix of onion, celery and carrot. And then we're going to reduce down some white wine with some chicken stock. We'll add some thyme leaves and finally we'll add the green olives before everything goes into the Alta Sham cook and hold to slowly braise. One thing that's going to be unique about today's recipe is that I'm going to use this Alta Sham cook and hold which is right here to do the braising in. We're going to braise at 250 degrees until we hit 165 degrees and then we'll let the meat actually slowly increase up to 185 degrees to tenderize and then it'll maintain that temperature until we're ready to serve. If you're going to be doing this in a normal oven, like this over here, I would recommend 300 for approximately two hours. All right, now what I'd like to do to start off with is we've got the duck legs and I've actually tossed them with a little salt and fresh ground black pepper and a little bit of flour and that's actually going to help um, caramelize those as the, felt, as the fat melts out but it's going to leave behind a little bit of that starch to help thicken the sauce. We've got in the roasting pan here under medium heat just a little bit of oil and we're going to transfer these duck legs skin side down into the pan to let them slowly start rendering. As you can see, the duck legs have started to render and the skin is crispening up and becoming a nice golden color. At this point, to all the fat and oil, we're going to add our new cloth and we're going to roast that down. As you can see, the mirepoix is starting to roast down. We want to get that really nice and caramelized. But while that's happening, we've got over here some parsnips that we're cooking with onion and garlic and we're going to saute that until the parsnips really come nice and sweet and then we're going to add some quinoa and cook that with some stock sort of like a pilaf and that's going to go along with our duck legs. With our vegetables really starting to roast nicely I'm going to add some of the white wine and start to deglaze the pan. I want to make sure that anything that's sticking to the bottom of the pan gets released. At this point, with the white wine reducing down, we're going to add stock. You can either use duck stock if you have it, or you could use the chicken stock. And as you can see, we're just going to get enough in there to go about one third to a half of the way up on the duck inside the roasting pan. Now that we returned everything back to a boil, I've actually put it into the cook and hold oven, the whole entire roasting pan. And I'm using my sous vide needle in one of the duck thighs. This way I can control and cook to an exact temperature. I'll also be roasting uncovered, which normally you don't think about with braising, but inside this oven, I don't need to cover. I'll still be able to keep all the moisture inside and be able to braise and cook this all at once. If you're doing it in a traditional oven, I would actually cover the roasting pan during the braising process. All right, now that we've got the roasting pan inside the cook and hold oven, I just want to confirm my oven temperatures. I've got the cook set for 250. I've got our sous vide probe set for 165, and the hold is set for 160. What's going to happen is once we hit 165 degrees, the cook will turn off, but the duck legs will actually increase in temperature another 20 degrees as the oven coasts from cooking to holding temperature, and then we'll maintain temperature at that point to let them tenderize. Push the start button, and we're cooking. Well, we've achieved temperature, and the duck legs are now nice and tender. So what I'm going to do is remove them, and we're going to actually blend the uh, entire sauce and then we'll strain it. 
And what I'm going to do now is actually just put them back into the cook and hold and keep them warm until we need them. Well, I've pureed the sauce in the blender and I'm actually just going to add it back to the roasting pan and bring it back to a boil and then we'll adjust any seasonings. And the sauce is simmering here, so what we're going to do is add our olives and we're going to cook those a little bit longer in the sauce and then we'll add the duck legs back in. Alright, well, we've been enjoying some champagne and now that it's almost time for dinner, the duck has been holding warm. I've got the sauce at a nice consistency and I'm just going to add duck legs back in. Simmer it all together for just a little bit and we're going to be ready to serve. Well, here we go. Here's our duck with green olives and along with that is the quinoa pilaf and also did a little bit of shredded cabbage and celery root with apples and truffle oil. Arrête de penser un de trois comme quand t'étais au bal, t'as plus l'accordéon.